Yeah, this is uh, f this one how I go by on raw food diet, which means that food has to meet three three qualifications. Number one, grown in nature, which means if I'm going to eat it, it has to be grown in nature. Number two, it has to be found in a tree, bush, or vine, and sometimes in the earth. And sometimes in the earth, I'm a little I'm not sure about because it's like a beet, carrot, uh, and I go by the monkey theory. And basically, my diet is similar to that of a monkey's, which means their basically diet is fruit and leafy greens. The third qualification, which is the most important. Food has to be yummy to the tummy. If it's not yummy to the tummy, I do not eat it. Say for example, like ginger, it's not yummy to not yummy to the tummy. Garlic's not yummy to the tummy. Olive oil cannot be in large quantity. It has to be yummy to the tummy. It has to be raw, organic, and yummy to the tummy. Olive oil I do not recommend. A lot of things I don't recommend. It's all a lot. Of, it's very in the raw food diet. Doesn't make sense. Like broccoli, I never eat broccoli. The reason why I need bro eat broccoli number one. I, I worked on a farm. When you see broccoli, number one, you have to get it, get a knife and cut it. It requires a lot of work. Fruit requires very little work. It grows on a tree and the only thing you do is just pick it and eat it. And a good apple tree, you get two to ten, two to tons per acre. That's a lot. Okay, once it, once it meets those qualifications, which means a lot of people get mixed up as far as what food is, whether they should eat it or not. If it meets, it meets those three qualifications, grown in nature, found in tree, bush, or vine, sometimes in the earth. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure how I stand that. It has to be yummy to tummy and eat in large quantity. Okay, food, all food must have vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, water, glucose, uh, I forgot, uh, fiber, and enzymes. I think, I'm, I think it's like nine total. Anyway, if it doesn't have that, it's not considered a food. Like vitamin supplements, like folic acid, uh, uh, herbs, herbs, a lot of herbs. You cannot eat in large quantity. Like, uh, I don't know, can't think of anything. Uh, ginger, cannot eat in large quantity. Uh, ginseng, cannot eat in large quantity. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head. Because I'm being on film, I can't think. <laughs> That's the qualification. Has to be those seven qualifications. Food, most food is dead. As soon as you cook a food above 105 degrees, it loses the life force of the food. If you, if you lose the life force of the food, that means the body, the infant wisdom, uh, becomes, food becomes uh, uh, acid form. Becomes acid form, it means that the body has to neutralize it. It calls upon the liver. Which means as soon as food comes in your system, the body recognizes truth, the body recognizes lie. There's no in between. Our blood level has to be a 7.4 at all times. If it's not 7.4 at all times, you die. So that is imperative that all 75 trillion cells understand that fact. They understand that if your food that comes in your system has to be alkaline formula. First job calls upon the liver. If the liver cannot do it, calls upon the cells. And the cells have to use their resources, their pH forces to get that to alkaline, otherwise you die. And if the cells can't do it, you know what happens? It forms around the cells. You know what it's called? It's called fat. That's why they'll never ever be a uh, solve the uh, the weight condition of this country as long as you're eating cooked food. Impossible.